Hey there. So this is video three on my series about Biome by Unfiltered Audio. This is going to be a continuation of the first video on using the input follower. In this video, I'm going to go over how to extend the uses of the input follower by attaching it to other cells or modules in Biome. So in order to show how we can get more control with our input follower in Biome, I'm going to use an example that's harder to trigger from. So this is a drum loop that's played by a real person. As you can see, the velocity of the hits varies pretty wildly as compared to uh, electronic drum kit. I have a, another hyper saw pattern still in Serum. And again, you can see it's basically not picking up the symbols at all, but I want to get some of those in there. So if I make a new cell and go over to the envelopes, I'm going to add an AD envelope. I could use an ADSR as well, but I just want an attack and decay. So this will be simple. If I attach the AD to the scope and click the trigger, you can see it generates a triangle wave. So the uh, AD doesn't do anything on its own. It needs a trigger coming into this trigger input. If I move the tilt and shape all the way to the right, I can get a saw, a down saw, which is what I want. It's what we're looking for with this example. If I click the little music note at the top, I can change the timing of the AD envelope from being musical notation or just being seconds or milliseconds. I'm going to take this out and use it to trigger the AD, the input follower. Now you'll see when I start, the input follower is triggering once and then it's stopping. The reason it does this is because the trigger input needs to be the change from a zero or a one, a negative value to a positive value. So it doesn't matter what the value is, but it needs to change from nothing to something. The input follower is capable of putting out a signal like this, but you need to put the amplitude really low. Uh, usually I find between zero and 4% will give this sort of result. So I'm going to go in between there. And the smoothness needs to also be pretty low because you don't want this uh, signal smoothed necessarily. You just want it to be sending an on and off for every note. Now it's triggering a lot. turn up the smoothness a bit just to smooth out some of those triggers. This looks like it's close to what we want potentially. I'll move this. Yeah, so that's kind of more interesting to me, or at least that's what I was trying to achieve right now. But you'll notice that all of the volumes or all of the amplitude of these envelopes is always exactly the same because it's not taking the velocity or the input volume of the signal from the follower. It's just getting an on-off signal, which might not be what we want. The input follower on its own is capable of sending louder or softer values. So there's a way we can have even more control. I'm going to create a new follower, a second follower. Move that over here. And I'm also going to set it to receive sidechain input. And I'll plug that. Plug that into the scope. So 
See, I can addition the two. And you can hear the one that's just the envelope follower, it does have some volume uh, variation, which is cool, but it's not picking up the cymbals. But I have these two signals and I can actually combine them. I'm gonna open another cell and I'm gonna go into the modifiers and logic mix. So the logic mix allows us to combine signals together. I'm gonna take the output of the X into the one and the output of the Y. It has a number of algorithms or just simple, they're not really algorithms, just simple maths operations. Plus, minus, multiply, uh, greater than and less than. So I'm gonna use the plus because I'm a I wanna add these two signals together. And I'm gonna use more of signal two because I want those kicks and the snares to be the main thing. But just having a little bit from the symbols is good. And now this is really cool because I basically have two controls. And I can really get something dynamic happening with the filter at this point. Now, I wanted to show the logic mix cell because I think it's cool, uh, but you don't actually need to use it in this example because the inputs of everything in Biome, unlike a real modular system, you can stack inputs and they will automatically uh, sum together or add together. So I can just delete this and plug both of these into the same input. And we have the exact same result. It's worth mentioning that you can plug, you can take multiple outputs from one output source, like that. And like I said, you can have multiple inputs coming into one input. What you can't do is I can't take a second output from the same output attached to the same input. That's the only limitation. But otherwise, this is a super flexible, uh, flexible scenario because usually you just want to add two signals together. For anything else, you use the logic. And now it might seem annoying that you would have to set up this big chain every time. But Biome allows you to save presets, so you can just save all these routed together. So I would just save that as a brief description of what it is. And then you can bring that up anytime you want to use the velocity sensitivity with the uh, envelope control. And you'll have a good starting point that's already tweaked. So I'm going to do one more video about the input follower and using it for more experimental purposes, just to give some ideas for that. Uh, hopefully this video was useful and or interesting to you. I have another series of videos I'm working on that's about doing similar kind of stuff with free plugins in Reaper. So I'll leave a link to that below. Please like and subscribe if you like the video and thanks for watching.